Hey guys, uh, giving a quick little video here from the dog stead. We just had uh, on one of the um, social media apps I'm on, on MeWe, in one of our groups, somebody was asking about setting up a drip um, irrigation system and what you would need. So I want to do um, the two different systems that I have and uh, that way you guys can kind of see how we've built this up. So um, this piece right here, it's this section, is a pressure reducer. So I believe our uh, well is, sits at about 80 PSI. So this drops the uh, pressure to about 25 PSI because you'll blow, these connections are just pushed in on this section. And uh, if, it's, if it overpressures, it'll just blow that out and then you'll just start spraying water here. So you're gonna need a pressure reducer. Um, I believe you can put the pressure reducer below or above the timer, it doesn't really matter. Um, I don't like to overpressure my timers. I think they last longer that way. And then you'll need some kind of timer. I really, really like these for my outdoor. Um, there's other timers you can use if you're running like hydro pumps and stuff like that. And you can see those on my other videos, but this is the one I use for my outdoor irrigation systems. Um, and then you're gonna need some kind of a connector here. Now these, this system runs, uh, I think this is a half inch drip irrigation type setup. Um, this does not drip itself. You connect into it and I'll show you that in a minute. But this is an attachment that you screw on and then you, you press this hose into here and it, it seals enough that it doesn't drip. And then you run, I have them under the rocks there so that they look nice, but you run them into your garden bed. And then we'll come over here where you can see, and you get this little thin hose and I get all of this on Amazon. So I like, this was one of our older ones and this is a hard, harder plastic. I do not like these nearly as much. These are, if you squeeze them, they're kind of squishy. They're much more rubbery. They uh, are a lot easier to work with. You get these little spike attachments right here. Um, and I will try on this video to uh, put all the Amazon links to each of these components in my uh, in the bottom of the video notes. But you have these little uh, spikes and they have a spike on each end. You press your hose over the spike on this end and then there's a little attachment that you pop a hole in this hose right here. And, and then you force this in and it kind of clicks in there. And it may leak a teeny bit, but they're, they're a pretty good seal. And then the last piece that you need is this little deal right here and this is where the water drips out at and you can screw this up or down to determine how much water you want coming out when um, the system kicks on so i have two hoses they're, they're set on the two different timers that you saw all over there so that my my garden inside here gets watered at a certain spot those are our beans they're going crazy and then the trees that are right there are on the second hose and they get watered at different times uh, and different um, amounts. So I'll kick the one off for the trees so you can see it going. And so on this one, um, you go to your clock set, you set your clock, then you tell it what time you want to start. So you'll, you just spin these around. So you go to clock set and you set the time, which looks like this one is off time for some reason. Um, then you go to start and you tell it, so it's supposed to start at 4 a.m and you can adjust up and down to set your time. Then you say, how long do I want it to run? It runs for 10 minutes. Then you go to how often do I want it to run? Every six hours. I think that's the shortest spectrum. You can do six, 12, once a day, once every other day, things like that. You can then turn it off if you don't want it running, but then when you want it to operate, you do your uh, auto. So give me one second, I'm gonna set the time so you can see that a little bit. It is currently 12.45, so we're off by three hours. So you just kind of hold this down. Let me see. I'm going and come on. 12, 1244. All right, and then it's set to auto. So at 4 a.m., it will go off for 10 minutes and then it'll do that every six hours. So it does it at 4, um, what is that? 4, 10, 4 p.m., and 10 p.m. And, uh, and then this one is on its own setup. So, and I'll show you just this one here. So that Time is right on that clock, so it goes off at five, so they're not both running at the same time. It goes off for 10 minutes as well, uh, and it's also on the six hours. So these just are just offset from each other. I actually, in fact, want to set this one, hang on. Um, how often? I want it to be 12 hours, twice a day, because I don't want to overwater my trees. Okay, so there you go. That's how those are set. Now we're gonna click manual, and you'll hear it click in just a sec. It's given me a chance to say how long I wanted to run manual. You hear that click right there. So now the water is flowing. So now we come over here. And you can see 
that's running in there. If I wanted it to come out slower, I would dial that down a bit and it would not go as far, wouldn't spray as far. But on these, I want a decent flow. And again, I, I can make that uh, a slower volume so that over the 10 minutes, it doesn't do quite as much. But each of those are running. And so once I set it up, I always do like a manual check and I come and I check all my things. Now this hose, there's one missing from here. Oh, we pulled that out. See, it's running right there. We pulled that out because uh, we were concerned we were overwatering this plant. We're doing a little work on that tree. And this hose also comes over here and runs in our little herb garden there. So you can see those trickling out there. And then I'm gonna do a second video here in a minute and I'll just combine these together and I'll show you the other system we have on the back that uses all this hose right here and it doesn't use the half inch all right so this is our three raised beds that we've got here and what we're going to be doing here long term is you see my little thin hose there and there's those t's coming off it i'll show you that in closer detail in a minute but um it's currently primary purpose is running irrigation to these uh potted bushes here we got a little herb stuff going on there and each of these has one running into it. Each of the beds has its own hose nozzle. So there's one for that bed right there. Let me show you these. There's one right here. Notice it's all the same timers, pressure reducers. And then there's one right here. Now I will warn you, so this type of hose nozzle where you turn it and you twist it and it takes you know multiple twists to get to full pressure, I would recommend using those instead of these. If I had known I was gonna do this before, I would have done that. These are like a half turn to full um, spray. So you do have to play with that a little bit to not over pressure, even with the pressure reducer. I don't have mine at full blast. Or I just kind of play with them while it's running on manual to get my pressure. So here's what you need on these systems. So it's the same pressure reducer, the same timer, and then this little dealy bomb allows you to press this in you just kind of force it in there and it gets enough of a seal that under the 25 psi it doesn't blow that off and then you run this to wherever you want you know slash pines in here right now getting ready to plant those around the property but then whenever you want to split off you run these little t's right here so you basically i run my hose like to the uh, near the end of the bed so it's the full length of the bed and then wherever i want to put one of these i just cut the hose and then i press the this flexible hose on this end i press another piece on this end and then this t runs off wherever i want it to go and uh, and then all of my lines end on the little uh, sprinklers themselves these little sprinkler heads i buy these in packs of 50 and uh, i use more than i thought so i just uh, always have about 50 of them on hand and I'll show you the one over here because it's got more teas so there's four containers here and so each container ends up having its own little tea so you end up making a bunch of these little lines where you have the, the piece in there you have the hose running down to the tea and then that hose just runs off and uh, so once we get these slash pines out of here and we get this set up for a full garden setup then what we'll be doing is I'll be running tees back and forth and I'll set up the sprinklers all throughout this system so that they're where I want them. And, uh, and then it will kick on, kick off uh, as needed based on that timer. And because all of these are running on the same um, well that the ones up front are running, I offset them by about 30 minutes. So I have one go off maybe at 3.30, one at 4, one at 4.30, one at 5, that sort of thing. And that way only one of these are running at a time and I'm not um, overwhelming the, uh, the well system and uh, trying to draw too much pressure off of it all at once. Uh, but we'll kick one of these on so you can see it. It's pretty much just as good as the other one. So again, we click our little, trying to make sure you can see on the, click our little manual, you'll hear it click on. Turn that to auto. My lady that helps me take care of things, shut them off while we're gone because we're getting so much rain. And click, here it comes. There you go. And you see that little hose bounce there just a little bit. And so now pressure is running through the hose and you come over here and okay so you can see this one coming out pretty decent there 
I hope you guys can see that. It's bright out here, so it's hard to see my screen. But I just noticed, I'm looking at this one. See how that's barely coming out? So what you'll do, I'll move it over here just a little bit. So it's easier to get to. And I can open that up and see as I twist it, now it comes out faster. Like that. If I want to dial it down, I dial it down, it's pretty much off. I can actually turn it to where it won't come out at all. And then I can open this up and it has these little kind of click feels to it. So I open that up where it's coming out of the pressure I want. Another one here, not doing much. I wonder if she was trying to tone these down for me. There we go. Because with all the rain, we were getting, uh, these things were just soaking. Make sure you have uh, good absorbent stuff in your pots if you're using pots. I didn't put enough uh, peat moss in some of them. And so some of them don't drain as well. It's not absolutely critical, but it, it is helpful when they hold water, but they don't pool water on top so that it drains through, it stays kind of absorbent. And then if it's kicking on two to four times a day, you will be squared away. So I'm gonna go get these Amazon links. I'll get this posted for you. And I hope that's been helpful.